Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed. Today is March 30, 2013, 8.47 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, new news about the Vatican. This will shock you and other minor events, okay? But let me quickly go here. I promise this is my ninth time trying to do this and get it under 10 minutes, and I just wasted half of it right there. The Vatican has three large telescopes in the United States. They have an observatory. It is on a mountain in Arizona. It is one of five holy places, sacred mountains that belongs to the American Indians. Why is the Vatican there? Who knows? How did they get there? Who knows? One telescope is the same as all other observatories. Two has a telescope that is somewhat smaller. Again, all other observatories or most have this telescope as well. Number three, they have a very special telescope. There is not another one in the world like it. Not another one in the world. This thing sees what nobody else sees. It's infrared. It has other filters. It has a computer program that no one can explain or understand. And the name of this telescope is Lucifer. Tom Horn, that wrote the book about the Pope, Petrus Romanus, and his co-author were invited, but they asked to be to go to this observatory. They talked to the gentleman that was manning these telescopes and they asked him questions about this special telescope. And he said, all I can tell you is we see things that no one else can and we are monitoring something that no one else knows of. He said that they have been watching for some time incoming traffic Tom said, incoming traffic. He said, yes, sir, there's something that's coming in. He said, we see it. No one else does. And they're controlled by intelligence. He said, intelligence? They said either some really superior computer program or some live beings inside. He said, when is the arrival date? They said, late 2012 or early 2013. I want to quickly say this. John Hagee said the other day, out of the wild blue, it's not even known yet to the rest of the world, there has been a, a new found object in the outer space. It is a galaxy that is giant. All other galaxies in the universe pale in comparison to this. This one is a billion light years across. And guess what? It just appeared. So, since uh, 2013, hadn't quite got here. Since that time, these things, this coming inbound, have seen to have maybe put the brakes on, like to time their arrival. The last blog I did, I, I had a little reading there by David Brennan, and, and it said, when the Jews come to Zion and a comic rips the sky, the Holy Roman Empire rises, and then you and I must die. From the eternal sea he rises, creating armies on either shore. He will turn man against his brother until man exists no more. That is a but in fact that was written way before 1948 but it is absolutely a timeline on what's happening today they're seeing comets that they never saw before they're crashing into the sun like every other day there's new things up there that we don't see somebody does though and uh, I'm going to move on. The Catholic Church is mentioned of the Church of the Seven Hills. The Bible also mentions the Church of the Seven Hills will be destroyed. 
the Catholics over eons have tried to wipe out all Christians. How can that be? The Catholics are Christians. Crusaders were Christians. They were the ones that actually brought you and I Christianity. Catholics tried to prevent that, but they didn't. They couldn't. Moving on. It is believed that the Catholics, this new Pope, will gain world attention, thus world religion dominance, even control to an extent Islam. Armies will assemble, war will break out, the church on the seven hills will be destroyed. There will be a, a war when man will turn against his brother. That's been done, but it's getting worse, and in the end days it will be a socialist world that is not here today but will be here all right I'm on I have to skip a lot I apologize um, number one why haven't these things started well because there's a thing called the restrainer who is a restrainer he is the Holy Spirit these things cannot come into place. In other words, men can't be hurt by these things until the restrainer has been removed. The restrainer is the Holy Spirit. Where does he live? He lives in the bodies of Christians. God says, I have not appointed you to wrath. I have not appointed you to wrath. But there will be a day when the restrainer will remove you and then it will be like in the days of Noah. Those were horrible days. 21 judgments. A third of the population will die quickly. And then later on, a quarter of the rest of those, which will end up being a total of a half of the world population. Look, I've skipped a whole lot. I apologize, but I've been trying to make this fit in 10 minutes. And, um, but there is some good news. Hypothetically, if the rapture happened May the 1st, 2013, left behind will be billions of people, and millions will know that they just missed the rapture. But their sorrow will be soon forgotten because new problems will come into their field of vision, into their home, into their lives. That's because the restrainer has been removed. There's nothing here holding back the evil that is coming like in the days of Noah. Please read it. Now, one more thing. I don't want to be in it. You don't want to be in it. There's a ticket. There's tickets available. And they're all free. You can, you can, you can get a ticket today. Is free. And the name of the ticket is John 3 16. Read it. Read it. Look in the Bible. Read it. That's your ticket. There's no charge for it. But if you read it today, you hear it today, and you ignore it, then you're here. And after this is over, you go wherever this goes. But 316 is it. Free ticket. And there's a bunch left. A whole lot of them left. Free of charge. Claim one of them, guys. We're in those days that we don't take chances anymore. Jody Wolf exposed.